Hey, we're playing Demon Souls. I think off the top of my head, I think McBain was the one that asked for this one. This game is compatible with the system data autosave feature. Do not power off the system. I do what I fucking want. Checking trophy set. Fun fact, I actually have played a lot of this game. I have all the trophies. The caveat, of course, is that I have a horrible memory, so I forget large chunks of the game. I remember just enough that uh, we'll have a bit of a leg up over someone that doesn't know what they're doing. But if you really know what you're doing, you're going to maybe be a little upset with some of the things I do. Also, just a heads up, this game fucking loads super slow. Holy shit. After playing the other ones... This one loads super fucking slow. I should have put an SSD in my PlayStation for this. I have one on my PS4 for Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, but I don't have I don't have an SSD on my PS3. On the first day God created the earth, and the second day he uh, put an irrevocable poison, a soul-devouring demon, because God is an asshole. The story is very abstract and Japanese. Demon Souls. There you go. None of the things in that video actually happen. Like that part where the guy was fighting the zombies and not dying. That part doesn't happen in the game. Demon Souls. New game. Cannot connect to the Demon Souls server. You know, some people have been bugging me because I said that I wasn't going to play this game online. Because, uh, you know, I can't really be bothered to wait around for trying to co-op people. And uh, I really don't want to fight people PvP that are still playing this game. Uh, what is it, eight years after it's out? But um, a fun fact is the servers are actually being shut down next month, February 2018. But also the servers are just broken right now. So I don't look like a giant asshole by purposely playing offline. Start the game in offline mode. There's me. First, let's enter a name for our character. Oh, fucking Christ, it's the PS3 keyboard. I didn't plug in a keyboard. Okay. Damn it, I forgot about this janky console keyboard. It's been a while since I had to name something on a PlayStation. I think some PS4 games use the software keyboard as well like this. Anyways, our name is Damien Saul. And uh, there is gender-specific uh, character equipment, but um, I think there's like a ring that only girls can wear that's kind of good. But other than that, it's just armor, which isn't a huge deal. So we're going to stay a dude because Damien is a man's name. 
and then we can choose a class which will change our starting items and our starting level because you can see on the right side there all of our stats have set values and then some characters have different soul levels see right here the barbarian as your soul level goes up it takes more uh, souls or experience to level up so um, your soul level determines if people can join you uh, cooperatively or competitively so if you're playing with people you want to be near a similar soul level i think the meta soul level is like 120 so if you want to do like end game pvp or co-op be around 120 that might have changed over the years since i've played but we're playing by ourselves. or soul level kind of means nothing so see for example the royal he's soul level one so his level ups are the cheapest if you want to optimize this build you can do it a lot quicker as opposed to the barbarian i think is the highest he's soul level nine so he has to spend the most souls to uh, gain levels of course like like i just said the average level for co-op is 120 so eight levels isn't a big deal but at the beginning it is but we actually want to be because i have put a little bit of thought into our character build is we want to be a hunter because i want to start with that this axe you see this axe he's got here a friend of mine always played with this axe every time i played with him i think i've made three or four characters over the years in demon souls and my one friend always fucking plays this dude with the axe because it just has an amazing animation set and i want to see if he's true someone in the chat saying play a priest don't worry actually we're playing a strength faith hunter so we're, ba we're basically going to become a priest i just want to start with this axe and uh the little hat whatever we're basically going to be a priest so don't worry about that all right we can change our origin this you fucking Christ, this is such a janky ass character creator from the south from the north you know what let's just oh fuck i let's just put our faith in the randomizer because um the game isn't the most beautiful as far as the character models goes like you're one of like seven character fucking models that have a face and the camera's behind us and we're gonna have like weird auras and post effects on our character we're not gonna be able to fucking see what we look like most of the time so let's just kind of just fucking mess around with this putty face this guy's face is bigger than the rest of his head like he just fucking won a game of solitaire and it's about to burst off this this is how i'm gonna feel when i play dark souls or sorry demon souls we're playing demon souls i'm gonna call it dark souls a lot fat cow what the hell is the gender slider the gender slider makes me more androgynous basically like in real life women are a little portly and light blue and men are tanned and gaunt but we want this like you know you're like you've got like oh a little excitement for the world and oh wait i'm playing demon souls life is horror and t sorrow there we go let's get a little bit of blue see which anime here so we're gonna go with see this okay yeah swept back parted center wavy wild ponytail shaved buzz cut that's just shaved and some mud got on it spiked not a lot of hair again this is like their first game after kingsfield i kind of wanted to play kingsfield before i went on to demon souls but i don't have kingsfield and i have demon souls and i know i can beat demon souls i do want to go back and play the kingsfields though because this is a spiritual successor to kingsfield smiling cactus hey uh do 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 i kind of want to go with the bowl cut This is, I cannot emphasize how little impact this is going to have on our whole fucking playthrough. Which haircut should I go with? Hmm, I wonder. You know, let's just go with the generic anime. Got the power of God in anime on our side. Because we are going to be like a priest. Um, yeah, sure. Old white man hair. Hey there. Details. Uh, we're not doing any of that like i said like our fucking our character model is not gonna like we start with a hat on all of that all of that work we just did was for nothing because we start with a fucking hat begin game
King Alanth the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Fjord of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Break the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? There you go, you're all caught up on the story of Demon Souls. There's no more story after this. Wizard Country got taken over by Spooky Fog. Would I like to play the Journey to the Nexus? Yes, I'm a little hazy on the controls. Get used to these loading screens. They're long. You're going to see them when I die, which is a lot. There's me. There's Damien. Brave soul. Who fears not death. I do fear death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay. Land demon souls, go. All right. I guess if you've never played the Souls games, like one of the cornerstones of the gameplay is that you'll find messages written on the ground. Normally they're left by other players to warn you or trick you, but because we're playing offline, uh, we just get ones left by the developers. Didn't they shut the servers off for this game? The servers actually don't go down till next month, Cactus. But they're actually broken right now, so I'm not going to be able to play with anybody. All right, R1 standard attack. Yep, okay. See, this is why the axe is great. You just fucking just keep chopping. A lot of weapons will have like a three or four hit combo you have to end out of. But the axe just keeps going. Fuck you, I got an axe. Chop that wood. And then we sucked up his soul. See, we use those to level up. They're also money. 
keep moving. Direction plus hold circle is to sprint. Uh, another thing that comes up is if you're wearing or carrying too much shit, your roll animation changes and you run slower. We're gonna be we're gonna try to be a little nimble though, so let's not worry about that. So you can see my green bar going down there, that's my stamina that's gonna affect everything I do. I, I guess it magic. Magic doesn't cost stamina, but your attacks cost drain stamina, rolling drain stamina, running drain stamina. I think enemies can debuff us and we drain stamina l12 guard that's only if you have a a shield you can you can hang on i do know that triangles both hands you can block with anything but uh usually you don't absorb as much damage unless it's a shield and not every shield absorbs all the damage like this fucking shield is not going to absorb all the damage watch huh well don't i look fucking stupid maybe that's dark souls you can get you can get shields that don't absorb all the damage. You can absolutely get shields that don't absorb all the magic damage. Got a little snag there. All right, we got four dollar reduced to our name. Four boletaria bucks. R3 is target lock. Okay. Let's see, we can kind of lock on a circle strip. That's weird that there's a ghost there. You'll see the echoes of other players that are usually, um, usually those only appear if you're near people, but I'm offline. That might, that might just be a developer shadow, but those can sort of gives you hints on which way to go, like secret rooms and treasures. Yeah, that's the, it's the exact same dude. That's just to let me know to go up those stairs. Let's fucking play it a little safe here. Cause they're just gonna st stab me in the gut. Now, I think we can stagger him if we block. Yep. Get fuck. Yeah, there's definitely dev ghosts and dev messages for if we get stuck on stuff like that. But I thought they're only dev blood stains. When you die, you leave behind a blood stain and people can look at it to watch a little replay of how you died. Sometimes it'll warn you if there's like a pit or a booby trap or something. Getting some dropped frames. Oh fuck, I am dropping frames. Ugh. You know what? I'm really hoping these aren't going to show up on the final recording, and that's just the stream. Because, yeah, that's that's that, that's my connection. My connection speed fucked up, but my actual local recording's fine. So hopefully the YouTube recording that goes up will be fine. I want to say that it... I don't know if it's my connection, or maybe I'm dropping frames because the capture card's trying to do it at 60 frames per second. This game does not run at 60 frames per second, let me fucking tell you. Crescent moon, grass, we can use that to heal. Oh, fuck, we actually started with some. An augite of guidance. I forget what that does. I think... I think the augite of guidance is we drop that so we remember where we're going, but I don't think those persist through death. Hello, little rock? That's my shadow. What is this? Square to use item. I guess I did get hit. We'll eat our crescent moon, grass. As long as we can afford healing items, we can heal ourselves indefinitely. They took that out in the later games. What's this? Some more crescent moon grass. All right, we're going down there. This is locked, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about these drop frames, but I also don't want to stop the stream to investigate it because this capture card's pretty finicky. I'll try to get it sorted out for tomorrow. If you just press it, it's a backstep. Also, um, backstep will have a special animation on most weapons. Yep, look at that. That's good. Like, let's see if we can punish this dude with that. Look at that. Oh, did you see that? It's got a... If I tap forward and attack, I have like a little check. I think I can use that to break guards. Like if a monster's blocking, I can be like, get that fucking shield out of my way. Start chopping the wood. All right. We got to start being a little more... Uh... Got 
Gotta be really careful because they like to just throw dudes out from corners at you. Clancy, you like Dark Demon Souls. I, uh, there's some things Demon Souls did that I liked more than the other games, definitely. I think every Souls game has, like, one thing over the others. But, I mean, I've played through Demon Souls, like, five times. I think I've played through Dark Souls, like, twice. Whoa! See, there's that. They can smell. They can smell that you're making a mistake and they home in. The one thing you've got on your side, though, is time. So as long as you don't keep running into more dudes, you gotta fucking... They, they gotta fight on your terms. Gotta watch that stamina, though. If we combo too much, we won't be able to roll out of danger. Oops, almost fucking just walked into him there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've never played with the axe. My one friend really likes the axe. Very curious to see how the animation set pans out. Definitely this will be a big, big boon to us is just the infinite loop if we can afford it. It's just a two animation. Two animation combo that loops indefinitely if you can afford it. Okay, okay. Any treasure here? This is just like a tutorial area we don't get to come back to, so we don't got to worry about this too much. But, you know, we want to get our bearings here. Why am I dropping frames? I think I might be connected to, like, a bad data center. Because everything's... Like, my CPU is at, like, not even 30%. But my bit rate's just dropping intermittently. R2 for strong attack. What do we got here? All right. You know, slice the pie. All right, that's a... You got fucking pushed, son. Wowie. Yep, that actually pushes them back if they uh, fucking do something sneaky to me. This has got a great moveset. Holy shit. Like, some weapons have some neat things. Like, w one of the builds I used to run was, like, a rapier build because the rapier can fight when the shield's up. Notice that, shh, the axe, I got to put my guard down to swing. But rapiers and spears, you can attack with your shield up, which is great. But this is just a very, very versatile weapon. It's got a good combo. It's got a push. It's got a great backstep punish. Here we go. L2, parry. And then that puts the enemy in like a weakened state where we do huge damage. Very, uh, very risky though. Because if you fuck up the parry timing, they'll just chop you. Let's try it. I, I, I used to run a parry build. Really liked running a parry build. Oh, I got him. I got him, but I backstepped. Oh, get fucked! That was a little rude. I think I chopped him in the dick twice. It's like he really swung low on that riposte. Damien, why do you always go for the dick? I hate dicks. But yeah, I ran a parry build. You want a different... I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to get in a parry fight with this dude. He fucking hits like a truck. I lied. Bitty old LOL JK mind games. But yeah, shield's not that great. There's a uh, there's a couple weapons that have like a really good parry window, and then there's I think there's other weapons that have a very small parry window. So you have to be super precise. And I think we're running with like a five or ten frame delay on my capture card. So we want very generous equipment. Wield weapon with both hands, which does change our animation set slightly. But, again, strong point of the axe is we just combo forever. I fucking don't think I want a two-hand against that dude, though.
Yeah, I do. I do. I changed my mind. Actually, do I have a fucking push on two? Holy shit, I do. I think the two-hander is mostly mirror your one-hand set. Whoa, it's not. God damn it. I keep thinking he's going to parry me, so then I try to push. See, if he's blocking. He's taking almost no damage there. I'm trying to do the push, but I'm fucking up the timing here. Huh, that actually doesn't work. In Dark Souls, you have an animation that can like break guard if you're careful. Well, fuck you then, man. Alright, this is really falling apart here. We're in the fucking tutorial, Damien. You want to fucking play like that? Maybe I'll just leave, huh? Chop that fucking wood. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is f hilariously fucking embarrassing. All right, don't want to do that again. Oh boy, he should be dead by now. There we go. Sick of your shit right in the dick. It's like this weapon was made for me. It's not as good at parry, really. I used to be good at parry. A friend of mine, he wanted some help with the, uh, the trophy, so I said, I'll make a new guy, I'll help you out. And I made a rapier parrying dagger offhand build. Do I have? So yeah, we can. Oh, I do start with a bow on hunter. That's incredibly delightful. So you can tech you can have two weapons in each hand, but those weigh you down. So you got to be careful. We start with a bow though, which is great. How many arrows do I have? Fifty. This is a good build. This is a good character with bow equipped. Use bow to shoot. Maybe everybody starts with a bow. Actually, I forget. Half Moon Grass. That is, I think, in this game, is all healing items are percentage-based. So Crescent is 25% of my health. And, well, so on and so forth. You can figure that out for yourself. We're, we're rapidly approaching the point where I won't have any sweet tips for people that have never played the game. With bow equipped, L1 to L. Oh, right, 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 right. I don't know why I want to use my bow here, though. We gonna have a bow fight here, fella? There you go, that's for you. Come on. Oh, fucking too slow. I heard witchers could parry crossbow bolts in flight. Some grass. I don't mind the bow. I've never played like a pure bow character. I'm not even sure if pure bow is viable, really, unless you're very knowledgeable about the game. We're winging it on a lot of this game because I don't quite remember everything. So a lot of just navigating the zones, I won't remember. I vaguely remember the fights of the bosses. Well, well, well. Whoops! Get fucked! Just really zeroes right in on that dick. You know, I think a good approach is to punish enemies when they make mistakes because that's what they're going to do to you. That's how I try to play Souls games. You can pay, use pairing things without a shield? I think you can. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. It depends on what's... I, no, you, I think you can actually parry with nothing in your hand. As long as your offhand is a one-hander. I don't know why I took my shield off. I can just do this. Yeah, you can just like fucking... You're fucking dead, Damien. Cut that shit out. Just slap the weapon out of the way. But this gives you a little extra defense if that doesn't pan out for you. Because you can... If you do fuck up the parry, there's... There's, like, the sweet spot where you'll parry, and then there's a larger window where you'll just kind of, like, deflect the blow partially based on your shield. 
So that's why I like to parry with shields. Let's go. The fog is, um, well, let's just deal with this guy first. The fog is usually a checkpoint. Let you know you're making some progress in the level. Also, if you're invaded by a PvP player, uh, usually the level gets like, bro ah, fuck it. Maybe it doesn't get broken up by the fog. You for sure can like run into a boss room because the boss room always has fog around it. But yeah, the, the, the fog breaks up the levels in some way. So you, you know, you, you're, you've reached a milestone of sorts. This is boss. This is a boss right here. I already know for a fact that like you're supposed to die in the tutorial boss. You can kill this guy. He shows up later in the game. I fucking, I, I think I've done it like once. I've killed him once. And uh, just to let you know what happens, because I'm not going to pull it off, is you just have to fight another boss that's later in the game. And that one kills you no matter what. He's got like a butt stomp. I think if we can stay behind him, he just tries to punish me with the butt stomp. Yep. Oh, there we go. Another good trick in Demon Souls is you always want to favor someone's, uh, their not weapon hand. Like, roll into that. Or maybe you roll the other hand. Oh, that sounds like something I'll have to find out later. There's the stomp. This guy's got really good tells. Some bosses don't have uh, easy to tell tells. We call them not tells. All right, got a good iframe there on the, the roll. I could probably switch over to strong attacks here if I wanted to. We're fucking, we're just doing great here. Really baiting out the stomps. We died though, there you go. <laughs> You're supposed to die on that boss, whatever. Now we can show off this impressive little doodad here. Our death counter. Because we're going to be dying a fucking lot. I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do against that guy. I haven't fought that boss for like five years. Got him half dead. The guy just collapsed like I didn't give a shit about. <laughs> You'll need to use these to get around the shut up. You have died and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. This is one of the worst parts about the earlier Souls games. By capturing Demon Souls, you can reclaim your physical body. If I die and I don't have the ability to gain my body back, I have half health. You spend about... 75% of the game is a ghost if you're not good. I'm not good. There are people that are good and just every time you kill a boss, you get your body back. And there's some items that give you your body back. If you co-op with a friend, you'll get your body back. If you die for any reason, you lose your body. You become a ghost. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. 
All right, this dude's just our bank. On the topic of losing your body, that's why they gave us this item, the Nexial Binding. Drop all your money, but you teleport back here to the Nexus. That's good if you don't want to lose your body, I guess. Or um, if you're in a rush, I suppose. There's not a lot of situations you'd want to use it. I personally almost never use it. Let's see if there's anything I want to give them. You know what? There isn't. Another good thing about being the hunter is our shit weighs nothing. If we started as a, like a knight... Best of luck to you. If we started as a knight or a temple knight, I think you actually can't roll. You weigh too much. Mm. You're new here? You here for my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Yeah, so I guess like this underlying plot point of the game is that you have to consume souls constantly or you go crazy. That's why the townspeople use it as currency because they can't go out and fight monsters like I can. Uh, a lot of the story in this fucking game involves like talking to every NPC 10 times and looking at item tool tips and then like fucking just chatting it up on NeoGAF or... It, one of my least favorite parts of this entire franchise is just how lackadaisical they are with the plot. Like, oh man, figure it out for yourself. Read between the lines. If I bought a book and the pages were blank, it would be a shitty book. That's my outlook. All right, so we got bank, blacksmith dude. There's There you are. Don't be like this. Oh, oh Mbasa. Are you going to be a bitch? Oh, oh fuck. No, maybe. I thought she was the priest merchant. Maybe I'm mistaken. There's some spellcasting merchants around here somewhere. I got to go fucking find them. Also, fun fact is the Nexus looks really big. Uh, most of it's for nothing. Like, I'm not going to fucking rescue hundreds of people that come live here. There's like 10 people all together by the end. Hello? plot development. I'm looking for people to talk to. Let's go upstairs. Another fun fact about Demon Souls is you can actually fall to your death in town because why the fuck not, right? So I gotta be careful on these stairwells. This is the Nexus, the magical temple that holds our world together. These stairs look kind of dangerous. Well, we were fucking busy, Tim, when we built it. I think the wizard merchants are available right away. Maybe I do have to go rescue them. Yeah, so if you're not in the know about Demon Souls, is the game's broken up into five worlds. Uh... They have th three zones each. The third zone's always just a boss fight. The first world has an extra zone. So technically, there's uh, three zones per world. World one has a fourth zone. Bosses, it's fucking, that's not a huge deal. We can play them in any order based on how, how comfortable we are. I'm kind of going to bounce around as I try to remember how to play the game. Actually, maybe I'm locked out of the other worlds. No, I can go... Bol Boletaria is world one. This archstone is sealed. Okay, yeah, I do have to actually beat uh, world one one. I don't know if they're formally named that, but everyone calls, like gives them their like super, like, super Mario Brothers names. Like, one one. I'm in world five three right now. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? Yes, I did. You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. 
<laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed proletariat. This dude's interesting. This character is in every Souls game. There's always this one towns person that like doesn't want to be the main character, so he just sits in town being a little bitch. And he doesn't find any soul, so he goes crazy. Um where the fuck is that girl? We use the girl to level up, but I think I have to beat one one before she'll talk to me. So for now, I think the souls we get are just for buying items let's go to one one here a huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of boletaria hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons attack trespassers and terrible dragons nest there we have 190 dollars how many how many grasses does that buy also a fun thing about this is you just walk away from people and they get mad at you it's simple just no no wait i think Maybe we have to talk to him. Trait of your Perhaps you've already heard, but fuck! I thought he did it. Sometimes you just walk away and they're like, "Where the fuck are you going?" Trait of your Crescent moon grass, one fifty. Jesus, it'll be a while before we get that. Probably want to swap our little shield for a heater shield. Damage reduction, a hundred percent. Guard break reduction 53. There's some fucking no stats I don't remember. That's for sure. Fat cow, are you going to explain world tendency? You know what? I should explain world tendency because there is a story I have to go with that. Is There's this mechanic in Demon Souls called world tendency. And for the most part, it goes up when you kill bosses and it goes down when you die. You can also raise it by, uh, I think, helping your friends and you can lower it by killing NPCs that live in the zones. And basically... When the world tendency becomes more white, the game becomes easier and special encounters and treasures will appear. And the more you die and the world becomes black, the harder the game gets and different items and encounters will appear. Now, my friend who got me into Demon Souls watched the trailer. Uh, the launch trailer was just the one we, we watched when the game started. And he was like, man, this game seems really fucking cool. It's like, it's like action RPG looks like it doesn't fuck around. You can play with your friends. It's like, you know, high fantasy looks really neat. So he convinces me to play it. This motherfucker buys the game on Halloween. And every Halloween they do an event where the game is pure black tendency. The hardest the game can possibly be. And every Valentine's Day, they force the servers to be pure white tendency, which is the easiest the game can possibly be. So we buy this game and we go back to his place and we're playing it. And it is just the hardest possible state that the game can exist in at level one and we we stopped i beat the first boss and i was like something is wrong with this game i'm shittier than i normally am in video games something's fucking wrong and we came back like a month later we gave it a second chance and the halloween event was over and then uh, oh man late moon grass i think that's a three quarter percent three quarters of your life heal so we came back a month later and the game was easier. We thought we got better. That is not true. We looked it up later and I berated my friend for buying it on Halloween. But uh, you can't do it now because they're shutting the servers down. And uh, those events are determined by the official servers, not like the offline world state. But you could, uh, like, it would help you finish the trophies if you'd play on Halloween and Valentine's Day. These things here, these uh, little stones with the sword, we use those to return to the Nexus. When we kill a boss, one will appear. And that's like our checkpoint as we go through. There's nothing in these barrels. I'm just kind of buying myself time. In case I'm trying to remember anything. So we could shoot these dudes with the bow. Arrows are kind of expensive. Okay. So these are... This is actually the very first guy in the game is one of my least favorite enemies. Because he has this little bullshit animation. I think he's done it before. Where he just like swings his sword wildly. Uh, like five or six times. And he can juggle the shit out of you. He'll probably kill me at this level if it hits me. But the thing is they fight with a broken sword. Which they'll drop. 
And if you use a broken sword, you don't get that animation. And there is no fucking way your broken sword does as much damage as theirs. I think there's a dude over here. Or maybe, see, I think this is a world tendency thing. Like, if our world tendency is pure white or pure black, that gate will open, and a dude will be waiting for us. So the world changes a little bit. I just got cut right between my butt cheeks. See, there it is. There's that one where he just swings the sword. See right there? He took 16 damage, but that dude in the tutorial took 1 damage. Because different shields uh, block different amounts. Get fucked right in the dick. Yeah, so see, like, the slave shield, really light compared to our leather shield. But see, we block 90%. So when we get hit, it still goes through. See, 70%. Doesn't block everything. Guard break reduction 35 is if you hit him hard enough, you can ignore a shield. Like, if a dude just got a shield and you fucking just slap him in the face with a two-handed axe. Not mine, like, literally a great axe. He will get fucked. Also, I've only been hit once, and you can kind of see what's happening to my health here. Is we're, you're really at a disadvantage in this ghost form. Unknown soldier soul, we just eat those, they become money. But remember, we drop all our souls when we die. So the trick is to hang on to those. What I like to do is I like to eat those when I'm in town, and like I'm just short of affording something I need or a level up. You can also drop those to give them to your friends. Like, if a friend joins the game and he's like, oh, man, I'm solo level, what do I do? You could just, like, fucking spew souls onto the ground on him, I'm pretty think. Pretty sure. Oh! I almost got fucking punished for that one. Got punished for talking. All right, that's him. They'll drop grass, so I'm not too screwed as long as I don't get uh, too penisy here. You really don't want to be trading with enemies in general, but this world's pretty forgiving. One thing I want to try to do, I got I got to try to work this into my playstyle this time is like if you know like if you, if you avoid the damage and you're getting ready to punish a dude, is you can just put the shield away for some bonus damage. See like right that he can't combo off that. So there you go. I have um I used to work with a guy who was like really into Street Fighter and I've never met someone that played fighting games seriously before. And he would just talk about the craziest shit that I never thought about when I played fighting games. He's talking about like punishing dudes and like zoning them out and like he had this fucking spreadsheet so he could track the exact frames on every character's attacks to counter and parry. And uh, just like that sort of fucking philosophical approach to a video game. I think really comes in handy for something like Demon Souls. See right that? They gotta recover from that. You fucking punish that. Of course there's other ways to play Demon Souls. Like you just you can just hit him with a fucking two handed sword and kill them instantly. You don't gotta play it like this. But I personally like this slow game. Bait him out. See? He can combo into that flail there. You don't want that shit. Can't combo that. Fuck you. Going really slow. If if you've never played Demon Souls, you could watch another dude, even just on their first run. Like, if they were playing the game totally blind, they'd probably be going quicker than I am here. Oh, there's some dudes there. I think there's some dudes. Yep, let's just fucking bait these dudes out. Oh, see, I fell short of that, and I didn't have time to dodge that. He's going to do, like, a leap if I'm lucky. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes in the game, like a lot of different enemy types, and some you'll bump into more than others. So I'm kind of, I'm playing it super slow. I'm trying to like get the hang of everybody again. Because when we die, we have to go all the way back. We have to go all the way back to that archstone. And all the enemies respawn. There's a dude with a crossbow up there. He already knows I'm here. Okay. What I want to do 
is I want to run past that zombie and deal with this crossbow, dude. Otherwise, he's just going to shoot me in the fucking throat the whole time I'm fighting him. Because I fight slow. See, encounters like this. Oh, man. Encounters like that. There's some to punish you for playing slow. Like, they'll just be a guy there shooting you. Or, like, you'll be standing in poison water. You can't always... You can't always play on your terms. He wants to leap. See, I think there was a weird sound there. I think I managed to deflect some of the damage, but that wasn't a proper parry. There's almost not... There's almost never anything behind these. I just like to... I personally like to slow it down and break shit. It helps you fucking relieve the stress from some of these fights because man that one right there where that guy cut me right in the ass and I almost rolled off this I thought I was going to go into a pit and my asshole kind of clenched up a bit there's a dude there well if you're not going to come to me fuck you wow I am really good with the bow also I don't want to fucking backpedal into that pit He's taking too long. Fuck this. Crescent moon grass for our trouble. We don't drop our items when we die, luckily. So if you're really getting fucked, I see you with your little leg. If you're really getting fucked, you can just slowly grind up uh, healing items or the money for healing items. Okay, yeah. I only block 90% of the damage, but because they hit for so little, the remaining 10%... Um, the remaining 10%, you can barely see. It's like one pixel on my health. All right, so this mail breaker here is rapier type. There is damage type. Blunt slash pierce. You can see it on the right-hand side there. I'm going to put this in my offhand in case we bump into a dude in like uh, plate mail, like those guys from the tutorial. Because the axe isn't that good against that. I mean, you can just, like, have the raw stats. You know, have a weapon where you're confident with the animation set. But uh, if you're confident with multiple animation sets, like, you'll get a little more bang for your buck if you have a rapier or a mail breaker or a dagger. Those, I think, also have the highest multiplier on um, the parry repost. The parry repose with daggers can get really fucking gross. All right, he's got fucking Molotov cocktails. Things I want to worry about in the first zone. Whoa! See, that right there, they don't want to... All right, we're getting fucked by the camera here. Yeah, see, you know, I play it kind of slow, kind of bait with the attacks. These guys aren't fucking having that. Because if you stay in this, like, awkward middle zone, they're just going to fucking throw Molotov cocktails at me. I'm stuck behind a table. That's terrible. Oh, that's going to get fucking... See, I really just want this fucking guy to die. And I'm really getting fucked on it, trading hits with him. See, that was bad. He shouldn't have gone for the stab. So yeah, the zombies are the easiest ones, and then like those dudes in the armor, they've got shields, obviously, they're a little smarter. They've got, I think, infinite firebombs, so if you bait out the wrong attack, they'll just chuck a firebomb right at you. Shit I don't want, because... Hang on, let's make sure there's not a dude waiting to stab me in the tit. Because... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Notice that there's a fire and a magical defense. So, like, that's why they're throwing firebombs. You're not just going to take less damage. Fire resistance. You got to worry about that shit. What the fuck are you doing up there? Throwing fire. Oh, no. My fucking weapon hit the wall. <laughs> you want to fight? I'll push you. His firebombs are uh, not the best range for him. Now you're a ghost, like me. Yeah, this shitty, like, 
green blue fart aura I have, that means I'm a ghost. I'm like a little blurry or whatever. They, it's not too obtrusive because I'm going to be in this form a fucking lot. Watch out for traps. This game loves to fuck you with that kind of stuff. Another mail breaker. Uh, I think I can sell those. I, nah, maybe I can't sell stuff. I can't remember if you can sell items in Demon Souls. Go, 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 go. Whoops. Sorry, fella. They got some janky rag dolls. Need a firebomb. Now, this is where things are going to get a little dicey because... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. He flailed, and because his weapon's on fire, it staggered me way more than usual. I fucked up that charge. Um, the final boss of this zone... Well, the, the first boss. The boss of this zone is weak to fire, and the only fire we have are these fire bombs we're stealing from dudes. So, if we can get to the boss with a lot of fire bombs, we might be able to get them on our first try. The downside to that is, is if we die, we don't get those fire bombs back, we're going to be at a disadvantage on our next attempt. Okay, see that guy? See, look at this. You run up the stairs and you're like, oh, it's a dude with a shield. Better charge in. Oh, wait, there's a dude with a fucking torch there. Got to be aware of your surroundings. Something I will not be doing a lot of later. Get one more. Did you hear that? Oh, fucking well, well, well. Fall damage. Yep. See, they play by the same rules as me, which I like. I really like a game that plays by the rules it gives me. I don't like when games don't play by their own rules. Like in this sense, the guy doesn't actually have 99 firebombs, but he... Oh, shit! Get fucked! Look at that. I rolled into him and he fell off the stairs. Pure skill. What I meant to do. You think I get some fire resin before the boss as well? I think I do. You get a lot of items on this first level. It's kind of... A good foreshadowing to use fire on the boss. The problem is, is like, we can't really afford these items back in the town if we die. All right, and does he have a firebomb? Who the fuck cares, right? You just shoot him. See, situations like this aren't the best because these arrows cost money. Like nine, I don't, e I, I don't think arrows cost less than nine. I think we're actually losing souls doing stuff like that. But I mean, you know, you... If you can turn your souls into safe passage, I think that's worth it. He is gone, okay. Yeah, like later on, we'll be fighting guys that give way more than nine, so you can just... What the fuck is he doing up there? Yeah, later on, we'll be fighting guys. We can get ourselves in a situation where it's like, absolutely, just spend the souls to fight certain guys safely. See up here? Yep. Well, you got a fucking zombie slave with you. Oh, shit. That camera screwed me. Quit fucking around, camera. Get the fuck out of here, huh? Fighting humans now. Yeah, you'll die. That'll kill you. There's fatal falls. Luckily, I suck his souls up from the abyss. Oh, there you are. Now, I might roll off the side here, which I don't want. You have fun with that. <laughs> that fucking sound. I don't know if you heard that sound. Ugh. I, I, oh, fuck. I, I think there's a gotcha trap on those stairs. I think they give me a fucking Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark if I go in. Fuck. See... Really easy way to get fucked in this game is my weapon will react with the walls. So you don't want to fight like on the right hand side like this. See, that wouldn't have been a follow through. Examine corpse firebomb. Now, if my memory serves me correctly. Yep, see, there's a dude up there with an iron ball. We got to bait it out and then we're going to roll off. Later. That's not a roll. And then I think that opens... There's a hole up there, and then I can drop down and get that treasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look. Look at that. A bastard sword. So if I wanted to be a uh, two-hander character, or a one-hander, 
See, if your strength is high enough, you can hold stuff with one hand, but I can't. My strength's too low right now. We're a strength character. We could do this later if we wanted to. But see, it's like really, you get really tuckered out and uh, the animation's not proper. But if you hold it with two hands, you get 50% bonus strength. So sometimes you can use a weapon you're not allowed to use normally. We're not doing that though. Holding it makes us heavier and being heavier makes us less dodgy. We're a dodgy character. I don't see myself going heavy armor. Okay, so we baited out the magical ball. What do we got over here? Half moon grass. All right, we got to keep an eye out for shortcuts. We're getting close to one, I think. Game's really heavy about shortcuts, so you have to, like, really trudge through an area, and then you'll, like, open a door or uh, lower a bridge. Punish that. We got to be careful, though, because if our weapon hits the wall, we're in trouble. All right. See, our weapon's not against the wall, so we were in a way better spot there. That's a good spot to fight. Let's see if I can fucking stick my head up without giving myself away. There's one of those dudes from the tutorial. That's what you want, like, a mail breaker on. A fucking hawk eye ear can't actually hit me. I think that guy won't bug us. He's guarding that fog gate there. You can kind of see that fart aura coming off the wall. I can, I can just block the arrow, but I want to see if I can make the run between shots. Sweet roll. Oh. You fucking tricky dick archers. That's what the grass is for. There it is. There's the arrow. It went right through me. All right, it's gone. I don't want to go that way. That's a... um. I remember that area because uh, this is like as far as I got for the Halloween shit. Is, thank you. There's like an optional area over there and there's actually some very strong versions of this armored dude. Well, fucking stronger. This armored dude's going to kick the shit out of us right here. But yeah, there's some really strong enemies over there that you could farm for souls if you were good, but I don't want to lose my progress. Drop our 525 Boletaria bucks we've got. I want to sort this dude out. Haven't backstabbed yet. It's a great thing to cheese the shit out of this game, by the way. Is if you can favor their shield arm, you can slip behind them and backstab them. Um, it's not as powerful as a parry. They really want to reward you for the parry skill. Um, there's certain weapons and certain upgrade paths that make backstabs really strong. Also, if you PvP, there's like a 93% chance the other dude is just going to try and fucking get behind you to backstab because of the netcode. All right, there's... I'm 14% sure there's a shortcut if we can get down here. We got to play it real... Real cool, daddy -o. We're going to maybe play it a little more fast and loose if I can get past this first checkpoint, like, shortcut. Because we'll be able to cover a lot of lost ground if we die. Also, we've got the bow, which is just a fucking incredible opener. All right. Good work, idiot squad. Fun fact, those barrels are filled with something that blows up. Again, that's just communicating that, like, oh, maybe fire is your friend in this level. Nice little bit of design there, which is a little refreshing because a lot of the design is a lot more, um, a lot more sneaky Sam. It's a lot more opaque. We got to be super fucking careful because if the camera fucks us, we're going to fall right off that ledge and see no railings. What is that? One, two, three, I think four more stories down. One, two, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is a, a first person aim mode. Apparently I can't aim straight down. Sounds about right. Man, it's this is a video game. This isn't fucking real life, but I get really nervous walking near ledges. Not a big fan of heights personally, 
not to the point that I, uh, don't you fucking dare get stuck on there we go. Okay. Now I remember this. I happen to remember this. This is just like a dude stuck on this chain. We can go down there and take his treasure. There's where we came in, by the way. There should be some treasure now when we go down there. Yeah, I don't want to fucking fight these guys because if we fuck up a dodge roll, we will plummet to our death and we have to come all the way back here to open the shortcut and get our souls back. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. If we can get down low enough, we won't die. Well, we won't die to the fall. Okay, did those dudes see me? Okay, those dudes did not see me. Okay, fuck. Oh, fuck it. Put that away. Put that away right now, game. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, okay. That was the one I was worried about. I didn't want to fight two fucking... I didn't want to fight two flame-broiled zombies at once. All right, we're close enough to just lock on to him so he won't do that sweet jump over the arrow this time. Holy shit. Between the legs? If he lived, he would have been talking about that for days at, uh... Well, he's dumb as shit. I think he got confused and he's hitting his friends. Can't tell. There we go, there we go. Oh, fuck, not that. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, if we can... We got a fair bit of cash. We, if we can get back to town, we can restock all these arrows. So I'm going to be a cheesy piece of shit here. Wait for it. Hey, snot. Turpentine! We can put that on our weapon to make it fire for the boss, just like uh, Clancy said. Hope there's two of you. If we can hit that switch, that's our shortcut back to the entrance. Draw this in time. Oh, yeah, he's fucking, he's asleep on the job. One dude, do I want to fucking enjoy some hubris here and fight him with my axe? Yes, I do. We did it. Don't fucking touch that. That's a good way to explode and die. Let's open this shit up. Get the chain treasure. We're doing great. Cling ring. That's where the cling ring is in this game, really? There's the... They drop from the chains. Cling ring. You pretty much wear this your entire playthrough because the cling ring increases your max HP when you're a ghost. I forget by how much. By a fair bit. We're almost a normal person when we wear the cling ring. Downside is you basically have one ring gone forever. The old ragged robes, the old ragged gloves, the old ragged boots, and some old spice deodorant and body spray. Uh, grass is for health, spice is for magic. Because uh, if you control the spice, you control the universe. Old ragged clothes are for a lady, though. They're not that good. They're like dodgy wizard clothes not interested a jade here ornament we can use that for later for something i don't want to i don't want to spoil it just in case we don't need to do it i don't know why i'm going this way we don't need to do this part of the game ever again now that we have that shortcut we can just run up the stairs downside is is if we ever want to take the shortcut we have to fight those fire guys going upstairs which is like real awkward for the camera who said it it was Coldhorn, yeah. The camera is the the deadliest enemy in any Souls game. You're not wrong. I've died to some dumb shit when I get surprised. I've died because I've played dumb, but I have died a lot to just the camera going somewhere it's not supposed to, and then I run in the wrong direction. All right, so yeah, we climb this tower, reverse. This is our this is our way back if we die. There's a fog gate here, so that's like some progression. Some like courtyard shit over here. I am fucking loving this axe though. Wowie. Yeah. Probably oh, there's a dude up there. I already. Here's a fun fact. 
if you want to help that guy, he um you have to like uh like come in through that door there and then kill those guys and that guy like jump down and thank you. But if we're lucky, you can do like a sweet roll off these stairs. You will roll on a ledge with him and you can just snipe those guys on the fuck. Get out of my way, asshole. Demon souls. We are so fucked. Tried to get fucking fancy. We'll just run by everybody. I think this is a dead end. Ho <laughs> ho it totally is. Beep beep. Oh man, good thing we got that death counter. Good thing we got that death counter. Just got fucking all of Boletaria riding my dick right now. Get out of the way! Oh god! Huh? Holy shit. Fucking just keep going. I kinda know which way I'm going, so we might make it. Help me. I'm Not. By I'm sorry you've got your own problems, alright? I've pissed off the entire fucking universe. Oh, just fucking put some grass in your mouth. Whew. We'll fight him here. That way, if we die, we can kind of get our souls back. All right, that guy with the spear, I'm not digging that. Also, remember what I said earlier? We got the wall on our right, so we can't swing as well. That's a nice little animation. Did you see that? I got like a little uppercut if I roll. So you can do stuff like that, like you can bait out an attack and then just punish it with that uppercut. I'm on fire. So if you're gonna be an asshole about it, fella. Nope. All right, well, that was great. You got to see the sweet roll over the ledge and you got to see me piss off the entire level. I want to go over here. There's a merchant here. Ah, oh, there's some crows there. I wonder if the crows are a little foreshadowing on the correct path to go. We'll have to keep an eye out on that. I wonder if that's like a visual language they use in World 1. Hey there! Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? See, he's one of these normal dudes we've been killing. But uh, he's got some souls, so he hasn't gone crazy. McBain, going for a full playthrough? Yeah, going for a full playthrough here. Not tonight. Like, I'm not going to run the whole game tonight. But we are going to beat the game. Um, because I, I've beaten I've beaten Demon Souls before. I'm pretty confident I can do it. It's New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus and New Game Plus 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 where I get fucking really unconfident. A wooden shield. We're, we I want a nice shield that blocks 100. I think the heater shield blocks 100. That's why I want the heater shield. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Voletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> go ahead. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So we did pretty well there. Worry, fucking, we got a death coming up, though. Don't worry. I don't think we'll be getting another checkpoint on this life. Fucking, which way did I come? It's mirrored. Oh, right. <laughs> that thing. Whoops. We got the same weapon. All right, that's that fucking knight I don't want to fight. 
Well, I don't want to fight him when there's anybody else near him. Not with my equipment. This is a good spot. Just spray gunpowder everywhere. Is he coming alone? Yep, his friend got confused. I like it. All right, that's a two-hander. I do not want to fucking parry that, let me tell you. Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Slow and steady here. Slow and steady. Oh, shit. Yeah, he hits so fucking hard, I can't block it if I don't have enough stamina. Whoa, right in your dick. Hey, could you not drop down, by the way? Are you still, uh... Okay, good. He won't drop down unless I go help him. That is exactly what I want. I fucking forget what he gives. I think he gives us a nice ring, which is why you'd want to help him right away and jump off that ledge. And I think he also says something special. He's like, oh, wow, fucking what a weird way to come help me. <laughs> Just bring that dude with us. Let's go. We're going on a rolling around adventure, fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever, I got like another fucking 30 zombies I pissed off. Whoop. No, you gotta do it like this. You're not even holding your shield up, dude. Come on. You're an embarrassment to battle axe users. Is this a battle axe? Yes. For battling. I'm running low on grass. Oh, he gives me the binoculars. That's right. The binoculars will be handy for this fucking Sammy Slowpoke playstyle. So, what do we got here? Got two crossbows, and then we got the soul. I'm going to rush under so the crossbows can't hit me. There's another knight down there. I won't deal with him right now. Nope. Holy shit. You in the fucking flail. Okay, where's your friend? Fucked up the parry there. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Got a little more reach than my normal attack. That's the way to continue. There's items and shit if I keep going, and we do want to rack up a few items. Don't get shot in the bump. Stuff like that is really stressful when you're just running away from an archer or a wizard of some sort. How the fuck did I get down there? Oh, I remember now. It was over here. I don't want to go too far ahead because I still have to go back this way. And you don't want to, like, clear out a part of the level that you don't need to before you get a shortcut. Because then you just got to clear it again. Holy fuck, there's a lot of you, huh? Let's go deal with these dudes. I don't want them shooting me in the fucking throat when I'm helping out down there. Piss off with this. I hear someone. Is that just the archer? How do I get up to him? Oh, this is just like a ramshackle barricade. There's some proper castle here. Whoa, look at the time. Oh, we got a real crescent moon grass situation. Did that, uh, did that, like, slave merchant sell crescent moon grass? We might have to go fill ourselves up. Oh, fuck off, that wasn't a parry. That thinned this area out. All right, he'll come, because those two guys aren't aggroed. That guy can shoot me in the throat. I complained about that. That's actually near my throat. That's actually near my heart. He just punished the shit out of that. His axe got stuck in the ground. Hup. Okay, just keep moving. You got to keep moving with the archers. That's a su like, super easy way to punish these dudes. Is You just bounce off your shield if you have enough guard break. Thank you. Whoop. I think there's another blue-eyed knight down here. 
Ho, 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 ho. Too slow, Robotnik. What do you got for me? Just some souls? Huh, you know, just because I managed to run past them all, that wasn't a bad way to handle this area of the map, just fuck up their spawn placements. Because normally they're a little tighter and they can defend themselves. That's the real problem I have when I play these Souls games, is like fighting more than one guy at once. There's weapons that you can fight multiple dudes at once if you're good, but... I've never used them. I panic. I panic when I'm surrounded. A scimitar. That's an okay weapon. Curved edge weapons have their own animations. I, I really want to use the axe, so we're going to use this axe. Actually, my friend assures me I can probably beat the whole game with this axe if I upgrade it carefully, which is what I want to do. So there's a very good chance we are never going to use any weapons we find. All right, let's help these dudes. Well, help these dudes die. We're helping the man up there. Oh, fuck it. Christ. They seem a little upset about that. That sounded like a man sneaking up behind me. Is Axe Shield your typical go-to build for a Souls game? I've actually never used Axe Shield before. Normally, I'm like a... A Falchion Shield, or um, I, I I played a bit of Pyromancer in Dark Souls. And then probably my favorite Demon Souls build to date was a Rape Your Parrying Dagger. That was really fun. But the very first time I played Demon Souls, I actually beat it as a Royal. But uh, I found uh, the Wizards kind of got shittier as the series went on. Bloodborne especially. I could not. You can't make a Wizard in Bloodborne, which is frustrating. I fucking don't know why I did that. You can't really block fire effectively at this point. The heater shield, I think, can. Another mail breaker. Well, hello. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Volataria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. A brass telescope. Like, <laughs> you saved my life. Take this. Same, you didn't see it. You were getting fucked by those now zombies. I must go. There is something for me to take care of. All right, Godspeed, guy on the box. You can get that armor if you start as, a, I think, a knight. But it's a little heavy. If you wanted to be a huge piece of shit, I think we could murder him right now and take all his stuff. But the I, I don't want that sword and shield. They're not that impressive. I don't even know where you came from. Don't die here, dude, by the way. Random dude. Oh, no. There's a good chance, if I'm not careful, this guy is just going to walk into a lot of trouble. All right, what do we got here? Oh, wow, there's a bunch of you. Don't piss everybody off by doing this, me. Oh, good news, me. Come on. Not a good time. All right, we got to fucking help this dude. I mean, he's going to help me, but... This is where things in Demon Souls get a little janky. Sometimes you'll meet these people. Every now and then you'll meet these people, and they kind of have like little story arcs, and you have to meet them in every zone and help them, or uh, they don't... Did I get the fire guy? There's a chance that they'll fucking blow up these barrels on me. So yeah, so this guy's going to get in trouble every time we bump into him, and we got to help him, and we'll get something at the end for our trouble. Uh, the problem is, is I think if I die when he needs help, is he's considered dead, or he can find himself in a bad situation and die. But uh, the build I'm going for is we don't need to help any of these NPCs finish their little stories. So they're just there for fun. Grass and moon grass. Shard of hardstone and shard of sharpstone. We can take those back to the dude in town and he'll upgrade our weapon. Um, that's when things get really meta. Hardstone makes our weapon scale stronger with our strength stat. 
Sharp Stone makes our weapons scale better with our deck stat. Because not only are you looking for an animation set that uh, favors you personally, is the weapon will do more damage based on your stats. So ideally you want a weapon that has an S ranking on your most favored stat, which for us is strength and faith. So we want a weapon that has an S rank in strength and faith, or as high, as, high to an S rank as possible. That way we get the most bang for our buck when we level up. That's faint stone for us. We want faint stones. Or faith stones. It's, one of those is made up. So when we find the other one, that's what we want to upgrade our axe with. And uh, some of them, some of the stones are very difficult to get. First they'll want shards. And then eventually the blacksmith will ask for chunks to finish the weapon. And finally he'll want a pure piece of ore. Where the fuck did that come from? All right, I got to fight this dude on the stairs while that archer shoots us. Unless. No, he's really up there. I can't fucking crossbow him back. Can, or can I? I can't. Or can I? I can't. Really weird angle. Um, yeah, so we're looking for faint stone. The sharp stone and hard stone, is dead. that's just for selling. We got to fucking be a real Kansas City shuffle here because of this archer. You know what? I'll just show myself out, see if we can bait him down. Oh, Operation Baited. Successful. Oh, fuck. This isn't where, not where I want to be. Is he coming down? If we're not careful, he might actually fucking jump. You know what? I might be able to just legit push him off. We gotta watch out for that shield bash he has, because that breaks my guard. See if we can kind of tease out some combos. See what the hell I'm up against here. See, even just when I'm blocking, he's chipping away at me. Okay, that's... He... I don't... I haven't seen, like, a two-swing combo from him yet. There's one. All right, favor the shield, remember, for the backstab game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. You also got to be careful. Because, you know, you might push yourself the limit, use almost all your stamina, but then he can fucking use Crescent Moon Grass, too. Push yourself a limit, you're almost out of stamina, and then he gets, like, a love tap off on you. That breaks your guard. You're staggered. This is where things get tricky, is he has a very large pool of Crescent Moon Grass, I believe, if uh, we get greedy. These dudes become easier later on, but like we're, we're effectively level one here. That is not where I want my camera to be. Axe, not that great because he's wearing plate mail, but once we get some better stats and we get this axe upgraded, there we go. That's what I wanted. And then he's down on the ground. I put one of these. And he had several pieces of half moon grass on him yeah once we get our weapons in better shape like some of these guys that we're struggling with will be a lot quicker like once we get our axe in tip-top shape as he makes one mistake and we'll just punish him to death sounds like a crescent axe would be perfect for damien we're going with a uh blessed axe another good thing about I, wow i am not fucking fighting you there dude are you drunk it's fucking cirque de soleil archer here Yeah, what the fuck did he think was going to happen? Late moon grass. I think late's a full. No, no, late's three quarters. I think full moon grass is a full heal. And then there's uh, black moon grass, which I think gives us all our HP and all our MP. Put that away. Did he drop anything? Of course he fucking didn't after all that trouble he caused. Yeah, Crescent Axe. Crescent is good for wizards. Uh, my very first character was a wizard. I beat the game, I think, with like a Crescent Falchion. Falcon. But uh, yeah, Blessed Axe is what I want to use. Two reasons. One, skill is great with our faith. And two is uh, the Blessed Upgrade path will give us health regen. Very tiny amount. All right. See that? You see these uh, 
steel balls here, I remember this, is we hit that, and those guys will roll down for us. Oh, sorry. Sorry, generic enemy. You fucking blew it. You're all dead. Now, I'm not sure we can do that every time we come here. Oh, fuck. These dragon dudes are going to be a bit of trouble. We got some crescent moon grass at least. Yeah, this is... Oh, man. Oh, Soldier's Lotus, I think, stops bleeding. Crescent Axe is a standalone large axe that scales with strength faith. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you were uh, referencing the... Uh, the magic stone upgrade path. We got a shortcut coming up, but I know for a fact these fucking dragons are going to try to kill us because I do know... I do remember how to play this game. It's coming back to me. Some of these gotchas, like I've died to enough that I'll remember once I see them. All right, watch these corners here. There we go. Oh, fuck, there's two of you. That is not what I thought a spear was going to do at all. Um, Let's try this. Oh, fuck, this is <laughs> how to win a fight with a spear 101. Do it in a hallway. Jesus. I don't know how I'm going to handle this. I got to get them fucking split up. I guess technically I could have baited those dudes out and then fucking unleashed the uh, Steel Ball Wonder World. Oh! That is... Uh, spears are really quick. Like, not a lot of damage, but you can pepper a dude. If, uh, if he leaves himself open a lot. Great for punishing. Because you can attack from behind your shield. You see that shit? God damn it. I got enough crescent grass to maybe get the shortcut, but not if they're going to fucking pull this shit on me. Cannot get a lock on that, dude. Let's not. Let's not die here. I have more half moon grass than I do crescent moon grass, actually. We'll get to the point where we'll have enough grass that we can take the most efficient one. Because, yeah, it's like sometimes we're going to get hit so fucking hard we'll want to eat the half moon grass instead. Do, 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 I really don't want to fucking die here, but I think I will. This dragon's going to cause some trouble for us. This would have been a way better area to fight the spear dudes, actually. Okay, yeah, see. That dude, he's going to try to kill us if we keep going through the castle. And that dude is going to try to kill us if we take the treasure. But I think if I don't go down there, that dude will leave us alone. If that dude leaves us alone, we are in fucking a great spot. But uh, if he moves and he starts harassing us here on this bridge, we're super fucked. Okay, okay. The main thing is we don't want to actually fight on that bridge. Because if the dragon comes, these guys are just going to, like, distract us from the fact that we're about to get fucking killed by a dragon. He'll move. I know he's supposed to move, but there's, like... We can hope against hope that our world tendency is high enough to keep him there. I think if your world tendency is high enough, he won't move. Also, we can also try to bait the dragon. There he is. I can hear him. Hear that whoosh there? He's going to try to strafe that bridge and cook them all. There he is. No, that's just the foreshadowing. That's just the foreshadowing that he's going to do it, which is not what I wanted. I really wanted him to fucking strafe that bridge. Oh, I hear him. I hear him.
He might be on a timer. If if it's not trigger base, if it's a timer, we can uh, you know do a Judge Dread style and just go between bursts. There we go. What kind of sissy attack is that, dude? Just fucking burn him for me. This is really shitty. Oh, you brought a friend. Shitty spear friend, too. Ah, I, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do the dash R2. It's got a real big wind up. Unless you fucking combo off of it like that when they're staggered already. Uh, this is a perfect time for a bit of the half moon. Eating half moon does suck, though, because we can't afford to buy those ourselves. Fuck. Oh, you fucking tricky dick. He waits. He's like, get the fuck off my bridge. Careful, careful now. Careful now. Careful. We're cool. All right, now he's being an asshole. I think I might have fucked him up. He might be in a real waggy loop now. That's fine. That's fine. This is what we got the sniping for. Man, where did I learn how to be a hunter? Did you see that? There we go. Now somebody's a little interested in me, huh? What's that all about? Uh. Looks like somebody failed spear school. I fucking hate these dragon situations. I think I gotta, like, run under him when he does that. He's like, I'm gonna fucking yell at you and burn you, and then I gotta go for it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang right on we can use our binoculars don't you dare don't you dare when i'm equipping my binoculars we don't need the agate of guidance i want the brass telescope that is the shittiest zoom god damn yep there's definitely some guys over there don't want to hold it up to my eye though that's how you get pink eye Great. All right, so we have to run past those dudes because I can't snipe them. Well, I can't snipe them reliably. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go when he's not here or if I want to try to go between. I think if we can spook him off, that's when we go. Later, boys. All right, now we can fight. Okay. That is maybe a checkpoint. Huah. Nope, that's the boss. So if we die here, we can just fight the boss right away. But uh, there is a shortcut to bring us back to the beginning so we can keep all our souls. Whoa, a spear. That could mean anything. Yeah, I think he'll cook it from both sides if you're not careful. Maybe not. I want this. I don't want that. 
Not worth dying at this point. <laughs> this is in my first rodeo. Alright, this is a really bad spot to be fighting two dudes. Oh, I ran into stamina. Gotcha. That's probably some crescent moon grass, so let's eat one. Okay. I think that might trigger some dudes. Yeah, the dropped frames have gone down, so I think that was just on Twitch's end. Turpentine, we can use that on the boss. Ah, I just feel a wave of relief that we've unlocked the boss. Like, I would very much like this uh, checkpoint here, but... I can live without the 2,500 souls at this point. Oh, can't combo into that. He recovers too quick. A soldier shield. That might block fire. Love that fucking push. I didn't even know that... Uh, I didn't even know there was a fucking shield push in Demon Souls. I thought they added that in Dark Souls. They added the kick in Dark Souls. Everybody had a kick you could use if a dude was blocking like an asshole. Punish your turtle style character. The push is great, just gives me a second to regenerate stamina too. Wonderful little animation. This is another giant fucking pit stairwell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll fight you guys in the fucking rickety stairs. I will be fighting you up here in the room with walls. Oh, fucking watch that stamina, meat. Watch that stamina, Damien. No. Just trying to swing at me, huh? Just push him down. Okay, fucking, I fucking hate heights. They really take advantage of that normal human fear. See, this little fucking rascally fella is, he's made out of a shield. You can't quite tell it from this distance. He's made out of a shield. We gotta get him from behind. Um, we could use fire. I wanna save my fire for the boss. Mail breaker would be good here, actually. This might be a good time to show off the mail breaker. Now, because they're shields, they don't actually uh, have a guard break threshold. Um, I'll just go. Times like this. This is when the camera can kill you. What do you got for me here? An unknown hero soul. Probably unknown because you fucking died right outside the checkpoint. Uh... Yeah, I'm not even fighting these guys. I don't want to fall. Look at how much further we have to go. No fucking thank you. There, we did it. Boss might fuck us, but we did very well on World 1-1. Mainly because I know what I'm doing somewhat. So, I mean, if you wanted to watch someone take two hours to beat the first zone in the game, I got your back. Ah, uh, let's go back for the treasure now. Because, like, climbing a stairwell with the little spooky slimes, that's much easier than fighting a whole level full of zombie soldiers. And I think, um, despite the fact that they're, like, made out of pitch, they might drop firebombs and turpentine for us.
A shard of sharp stone. If we wanted to be a dex character, sharp stone is wonderful. Not as wonderful as you'd think, but I think blade stone is the best if you go high dex. But yeah, it's like I... It's been a long time, but I did get the platinum trophy, so I... I know bits and pieces about a lot of the game, if my memory serves. Did I go back? Oh, right, right, right. There was one right past the dragon. There was a treasure there we abandoned because I think it's a trap. Bum, 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 bum. Nope, just a soul. The Platinum was a chore. The Souls games are, uh, like, they're not the worst Platinum trophies I've got, but there's a lot of legwork after you beat the game that doesn't necessarily need to be there. A lot of games have poor trophy sets. I wouldn't put this in that category. Like, I've played games with some real fucking stinker plats. Do, 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 running down the stairs. Uh, so, yeah, we could go back to town. I think we're not allowed to level up until we kill this boss, but we could go back to town and buy, like, arrows and, uh... You know, I'm not confident the town sells firebombs yet, and I don't want to reset these starter zombies. I mean, I could restart these starter zombies already. If we go through there, we got to fight the boss. Man, I thought we'd get further today, but I also thought I was going to die more today. So I think we might just kill this boss and call it there. Which I don't think is terrible. Yeah, one of the hardest trophies was the pure blade stone. There's like a specific enemy you farm for it. I fucking had to just like literally farm that enemy for a solid weekend. But yeah. Pure Bladestone was annoying, and, like, you had to play through the game a couple times if you didn't trade with your friends for weapons, but. All right, I want to swap. Turpentine. Apply to right-hand weapon to cover and fire. So. Spoiler, because I, for the most part, remember all the bosses, and really... Most bosses just have, like, one gimmick that will kill you the first time, and then you're supposed, to, you're supposed to figure out what to do, but this is just the first boss. He's the simplest one. It's just a giant version of uh, those little uh, slimy shields we've been fighting. So the trick is we want to be all fired up. Hopefully we can pull it off because we have, uh, well, we have six turpentines, so technically we have six attempts because that will enchant our weapon for, like, a minute or two. And the fire bombs are grenades. We're probably going to burn all of these on our first attempt. No pun intended, but let's give it a go. Chant our weapon with fire. Now the trick is... All right, I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting that many at once. Throw the fucking fire bomb, please. As we do damage to him, he's going to slowly shed those dudes. The trick is, is we want to fucking keep away. Ah, fuck. I probably should have waited on the turpentine now that I think about it. Is The little ones are protecting him. Is He doesn't actually fucking have any sort of defense. Like, look at this. But if we get cornered by too many, things are going to get fucking spicy, let me tell you. I fucking can't tell if he's throwing them or if the little ones can throw them. All right, the turpentine on our weapon fell off, so we used that way too easy. Way too early. Sorry. Take a bit of the crescent grass. We got rid of, oh, <laughs> not as many as I wanted. Wow. preferred a few more dead slimes, but what are you going to do? All right, that's that. Let's 
get some fucking distance here. Yeah, these guys are fucking super slow, so if we can get enough of these far away from the boss, we can just fucking start chopping with the turpentine. I don't think they'll be able to block the fire, but I think the shield might have enough defense on it that I can't break it. Because I'd like to just man mode a few. Getting a little stressful there. Alright, that's too dead. That's fucking beauty. Ho! Some fucking good matrix dodges here already. He's got some great blind spots now. It's fucking over. Don't even need a fucking shield for this. I'm here for the mega damage. Just hit him like it's a fucking baseball bat. Home run. We beat him. The demon was destroyed. You shall obtain the demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. You've regained your body. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. Yeah, sure. Look at this. And we got some hard stone and shit for our trouble. I think those dudes always drop hard stone. Maybe they drop sharp stone. I can't remember. There you go. We beat our first boss. A lead demon soul. Bosses drop special souls. You can eat those for XP. Don't do that. You can turn them into special weapons. You can trade them to merchants for uh, bosses. Now this is going to unlock the level up, I think. And there's a little cutscene, I guess, we can watch. Now this is where things are going to get a little cheesy, unfortunately, because... What is it? Make sure the camera points at her feet, then up to her weird face. The monumental I fucking forgot. The monumental will explain the nexus to the... The monumental does not explain the nexus to the um so there's one little cheesy thing we have to do because earlier i was talking about um if you remember that it's a lot harder to fuck with your world tendency your black and white tendency when you're offline because every time we die and lose our body in a level the world tendency will go black and we don't want that because it's really hard to turn it white so whenever you get your body back you just go to the nexus and die So some of these deaths are just going to be like shitty Nexus deaths. But I uh, I really don't want to fucking fight in Black Tendency. Oh yeah, the Monumental awaits me above. I also... That guy came back. He brought a Demon Souls. Ah! I also forgot what my fucking guy looks like. I forgot I put the fucking melancholy slider to maximum on my face. But yeah, like I said, we're going to be a ghost almost the entire game. Because if we can fiddle with our world tendency, things will be a little bit easier. Um, we lost all our souls when we died. They're waiting in a bloodstain where our body was. Well... They're waiting in a bloodstain five seconds before we died. That way, like, if you die in a really stupid spot, you can still get your body. That's how they reconcile, like, falling to your death. The bloodstain will be on the cliff. But, yeah, once we talk to the Monumental, we'll go downstairs, grab our bloodstain. We should have the ability to level up by then. We'll blow these souls. Had a good run tonight. Thanks for coming out. Well, thanks for coming out. We're going to be, like, another 10, 15 minutes maybe, but... We won't be poking our head in any worlds. Just a bunch of dead Buddhist kids. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. The story's super obtuse. There's this one little kid that's not dead yet. Like, oh, hey, man, what's up? We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. 
there is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul art. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious art strings. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadow men. And the last to the great giant of the northern land. The arch stones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul art. Finally, we became monumental, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released, so we can go to the other worlds now. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Yes, he says something dopey if you say no. I don't want to talk to him again. Yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Fucking worthless wizard kids. Oh, in the distant past, we fought the old one. There were like tens of thousands of us. I'm like, oh, you won? Like, oh, fucking no, that dude was ripped. Good luck. I'd be pretty pissed off if I saved the world and they said I had to turn into a little British kid and sit in some temple forever. No, thank you. All right, let's go get our blood stain and uh, old pancakes face will level us up. There she is, five seconds before we died. Wemo, you regained lost soul. You've touched the mark of death itself. Eh, we did it. All right, let's go. 5,000, that'll be good. Oh, you know, I think I'm just going to eat every soul. Because be, uh, I mentioned earlier, remember, 120 is like the average to play with people. But because we're playing solo, Great we can soul. just go level crazy. Back to its ancient slumber. The blue eye stone, the white eye stone. Eye stones temporarily connect the diffuse world. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden controls in human souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. Yeah, fucking, maybe she should control the power to wear some fucking shoes. You think this place is warm? There's like 12 torches. Put some fucking shoes on. Walking on a stone floor. Seek soul power, so yes. After all, thou requirest strength. 
go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. This girl always makes weird sexual euphemisms when I try to level up. Touch the demon inside me. Oh, okay, I guess. Here we go. My, how much faith can I get? Oh. I can't remember if... I think we have to force level... Like Dark Souls, you can just pump a bunch of stats up to see if you like it. But I think this one, we do it for sure. All right. It's 758 souls to level up once. And then that cost will go up every time. So Faith. So let's look at our main stats here. We're going Strength, which will increase our attack power. It'll kind of increase our defense every level. And our weapon will scale based on that. Our other main stat is Faith. Which increases the power of our miracles, which are, uh, uh, you know, like priest spells, basically. For the most part, they don't have power associated with them. We're mostly going to be using utility spells. Not a huge deal. The thing, though, is faith will increase the power of our weapon because we're going to go with faint stone. And the more faith we have, the more priest spells we can equip. That's weird. Okay, intelligence is to equip. Oh, we already have enough intelligence to equip one wizard spell, which is perfect because there's only one wizard spell I actually fucking want. Vitality is life. Endurance is our ability to carry things and uh, regenerate stamina. Luck is really fucky, and it's for farming items. I normally make another character that's lucky. I don't fuck around with that shit. So we want faith. Um, let's just go like a strength faith. Let's just take turns. Miracle capacity has increased. Thank you. Um, let's save a little bit because we do want to buy some spells. Art thou done? Strength, help the world be yeah, goodbye. Maybe use those souls to buy some normal people clothes like everybody else in town. You there. Buy item. Do you have gear yet? No, you're not fucking that kind of merchant yet. I w oh, no, wait. There it is. The heater shield does block all the damage. How much? 2,000. Oh, fucking good thing I stopped leveling up. I can tell you. Heater shield would be nice. There we go. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I'm hoping to be. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Yes, we are, brother. Teach me some miracles. Heal. Antidote. E evacuate. Fuck, that's like the only one I want really. It costs way too much. Hidden soul. Hides the caster's soul, making them harder to be detected by black phantoms. Absolutely worthless because we're not online. I think there are NPC black phantoms and we can like cheese ball their aggro radius, but fucking whatever. Recovers the user's HP. I don't like the heal spells in this game because we can just buy I healing see. grass. I pray we Who are you? I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Abain but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. His honorableness? You didn't go to a word school. Let's see if this lady's got anything to say. Back in the time that I lived below Boletaria Castle, King Alant left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. There you go. So fun fact, one of the reasons that I think we're going to do very well with our faith build is if we can get our faith high enough, we just talk to her. And she's so impressed, she gives us pure faint stone, which is what we need to max out our axe. So that'll be easy peasy. I fucking can't believe you don't sell any armor. I think I have to find all the good armor. There's a wizard merchant somewhere. And I want to talk to him. Yeah, I think it's around 20 faith, McBain. 
which, uh, well, we're not near, but we can definitely shoot for it. Won't take too long. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give him the hairpin in a second. Don't worry. I'm trying to find the wizard merchant. But, yeah, there's a couple people in the chat talking about it. We can take the jade hairpin we found, and we can give that to uh, Stockpile Thomas. Tell him his daughter's dead or something. And it'll give us an item. I think he gives us an item that lets us carry more shit. Which is okay. Remember, one ring's pretty much permanently locked away because of the cling ring. So we really only have flexibility with our other ring. Certain situations, we're a little more confident we can put the cling ring away. Well, hello! What do you want, brute? Fuck you. I have no use for miscreants like yourself. Away with you. Oh, fuck, he's too... He won't even sell me any spells because I'm too stupid. What do you want? I have shit. There is one wizard spell I want, and I'm too stupid to talk to him about it. I fuck. I, I fuck. Really? Ten? Ten's too stupid? Fuck you, dude. I would be happy to lighten your. You'd love to lighten my load. Just take the hairpin. When scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter, and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls. Hey, we have the same shirt. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. Man. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Her eyes are covered with wax. Sure. If only some. Take the fucking hairpin, asshole. If only. Do I have to deposit it? I think I do. I think I have to. Where the hell is it? So what is this? Okay, so yeah, if we're not playing online, but. You take the blue eye stone and like you write your name on the ground. It's like a magic marker. And then another dude will see your name and he summons you. And if you're sick of his shit, you use the white eye stone to return. But if you help a dude kill a boss, you get your body back. But we're not too worried about having our body. You can beat the game as a ghost. I saw some Japanese dude beat the game naked at level one. Anything fucking goes in this game. Take this. Rest assured. Best of luck to you. If only some. If only. If only. Well, you know what, dude? Fuck you. Luck to you. Talk to him again. I'm keeping a clue. If only. Right, let me take the jade hairpin. You have a heart. I don't know why he thinks I have a heart of gold. I guess it's because we wear the same shirt. There it goes. Hairpin. That belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Absolutely not. I clearly need it. You can use the jade hair ornament for other stuff, but yes. You're a saint. This is where things get really fucking Thank weird. You. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. The Ring of Herculean Strength. I think that lets us carry more. Which can be good if you want to wear heavy armor. Uh, it'll at least help us carry the heater shield. I'm keeping... Yeah, like, you have a some of the fucking shit in this game is so weird. It's like, yeah, just have the jade hairpin and uh, 
talk to him a bunch and then leave the conversation and talk to him again and he'll offer to take it. And if you give it to him to store for you, you'll skip that by accident. And if you say no, he'll get very sad and you can use it somewhere later and just fucking so much weird shit. Like the dude won't sell us spells because your intelligence is too low and there's no real way to know that unless you happen to level up intelligence. You might just think that guy's an asshole. You might not realize that's the wizard merchant. Demon Souls is like fucking read the wiki, the game. Buy that heater shield. I want that heater shield. We can find a heater shield, absolutely, but I want it right now. Done. You come back a lot. Soldier blocks, almost all of it. See, this only weighs one pound. Four, fi 53 guard break. This actually got better guard break reduction on it. That's crazy. Physical attack. Physical defense goes up. These shields have no fire defense, unfortunately. Let's take a quick moment to look at our axe here. It's got 80 plus 5. See, it's got some stat bonuses here. Is The, uh, the three-way fart is our strength. The side-to-side -side fart is our, uh, side-to-side -side fart is your dex. The exploding fart blossom is your magic stat. And then the oblivion gate is your faith stat. So we get a, a D-type bonus based on our strength, and we get an E-type bonus based on our dex. And as we level up our s weapons, is those stat bonuses will increase, or they can even shift to different stats, which is... We're going to shift this weapon to be strength faith bonus. Bam. Bam. This is the new. This is the new Damien. This is what he's going to be up to tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to go to World 4, by the way. There's some things I want in World 4. I kind of know my way around World 4. World 4 is actually pretty fucking dangerous. So we're going to die a couple times. You're going to get to see that death counter go up a little more. I thought we did. We did very well. I haven't played this game in ages, and we did great. But uh, it's pretty. It's literally all downhill from here. The game will get harder in every possible way. Do I still roll fast? Yes. By the way, I'm very worried about my roll. If you're not sure why, it's because once we go over 50% of our... Where the fuck is our weight? Once we go over 50% of our weight, we'll start to roll a little slower. We can carry 141 right now. Oh, shit. Can I actually not carry the heater shield normally? No, we're still fine. This is the best roll in the game. As we get heavier, it'll become shittier. And when we weigh way too much, it'll be like if I tried to do a somersault in real life. We'll kind of just land on our shoulder wrong and flop around. You won't dodge anything. You lose your iframes. People just tear you up. So I like to be very light. Well, you don't need to be very light. You need to be at 49.9% burden and you're fucking fine. But yeah, thanks for coming out to watch. We'll be back tomorrow with some more Demon Souls. World 4-1. See if Damien does much better with the Archstone of the Shadowman.